of Mouse Gears here at Epcot. We're gonna check out if there's any oh, girl just fell. <laughs> if there's any new merchandise for us to see. So let's go ahead and get on in. Coming right in the mouse gear, um, we've got the hat and ears spot. I love this ball cap. I'd rather be sleeping. So cute. I think dad hats or you know baseball caps are having a moment. Dingle hopper hair, don't care. Um, and it looks like that they range between $21.99 to $24.99. Um, yeah, the tags aren't readily available for me to for me to see. This one's super cute too, Queen. I can imagine if you are running in a Disney race, like the ladies that like to wear caps while running, if you're running as a character, you could add that to your outfit. This one's really cute because it's specific to Epcot. If you can read this, you can thank the Phoenicians. That's the Spaceship Earth ride right when you get inside. Then there is the original top knot with little Tinkerbell bun. This one's cool. It's got like a leather and it says Mickey Mouse. I don't know how well that's showing on camera. And then that one just has the hands logo. This one's a velvet. So that's really nice for the fall and winter time. No sleep till midnight. Cute. And then this one is really nice also. Mermaid. And it's got a little aerial there on the back. So again, between $21.99 to $24.99. I love that one. Sparkly. Very nice. I, and I've seen those other ones before, like the Disney Princess and the silver ones. Those aren't particularly new, but I haven't seen any of these before. I wanted to show you these three hats as well. I know that the Monsters University hat is really popular. It looks like that they've kind of stuck with that and come out with the OK, Uzma Kappa, and the PNK. I don't remember how they say the sorority name, um, but these are really cute. If you have the Monsters University cap, it would be cute to kind of collect them and get those two in the set as well. Um, also, these are sweet if you're wanting to match your significant other. The prices are still the same, $21.99 to $24.99. There's the Monsters U cap I was referring to. It's so, so popular. So cute. Coming into the um, kind of luxury section of Mouse Gear, where the Dooney and Alex Anani are, I found this park exclusive Festival of the Arts Alex Anani, and that is so fun. I love that. Um, they also have the other releases, Coco, um, they have some of the Christmas ones, the Mickey Snowflake and the Tink, as well as the Love Letter Collection. Um, they've also got some Americana Mickey in the back there, so, but I think this is definitely the cutest. On the Disney Wall, there are two new bags. There is the Love Letters collection and the tote, the little box. So it almost looks like a little lunch box to me. It's so cute. And then the crossbody with the double zip. And then with the new confetti, it's a little side satchel, a barrel bag, and the tote as well. So those are really sweet. I got it the day it came out. Mom's checking it out. I love the I love the size. It's so yeah. cute. That's a great size. She said they just came out today. This morning. Yep. This one's 178. 178. Is the interior red? Yeah. Typically they are for the Doonies. But sometimes with these special editions they've been doing different colors. It is stuck on the tag. Oh, that's all right. It's probably red, I would assume. Like, I think that love letter one is probably blue or pink, since it's lighter. I'm going to back up. I don't want to. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Love it is pink. pink. On the inside. You found your dream bag? I love that barrel size bag. That's nice because it's not huge, but it's big that you can put, you know, you can get an iPad, a book, a water bottle. You can get quite a, quite a good amount of things in there, but it's not as large as the tote. $248. Yeah. So the, the tote's probably three, three something. That's typical. I feel like I'm really zoomed into you for some reason. 
There we go. And that one is two sixty eight. Oh, so only what forty dollar difference between the barrel and the tote? But these came out this morning. So here's the tote for the love letter one. I like this one because it's got pockets. Yeah, it's different. It's like a wool pocket, so that's nice. And I like the rings that are holding the straps. Yeah, this size. That's the one that I I like these because it's got the zip option. You can put your phone, your keys. Those are really nice. These are really nice. These are like an artist edition mug. It's got Maleficent and her dragon and fairy form. This one is $15.99. Oh. I love the Captain Hook one. That's really cool. And the other side has the Skull Rock. And then Robin Hood, same collection. I like when they do ones like this that coordinate. That's really neat. These are so sweet. They're so small though. They're small. Um, and I think that when we looked, yeah, they were $22.99. So I don't know. But literally, I just, I love this cup so much. It's got little peanuts on the inside. I Her still face. think that you should, um, you could plant a little succulent in that, yeah, do something years. with it other than using it as a cup, which kind of defeats the purpose. Um, but I love this one too. Mushu, you never see Mushu. Isn't he cute? And his tail wraps all the way around. And He's fifteen ninety nine. I don't remember seeing this book. Yeah. He's cute. Mr. Potato Head little with his little hat. He's cute. Oh, he's twenty two ninety nine. So they're going a little more expensive with the mugs. Well, that Mushu one was fifteen ninety nine, which I think is normal price. Oh, that's a beautiful vote. Wow. Sorry. Let me. There you go. That's so cool. So I'm sure that all that lights up when you have your candle in there. Really pretty. How much is that? $14.99. So if you get two of those to put on your nightstand, about a $30 souvenir. This one's really nice too. It's got the castle, but the stem is beautiful. Just this really sleek silver. That's $16.99. Here's another votive. Again, if it's lit up, you can see the Mickey head and the castle. That one doesn't have a price on it. I love this one. It's $14.99. Oh, okay. Thank you. I love this one because I have my Bath and Body Works candles. This one's 30 that you could just rest right on top. That's really pretty. And then these little lanterns. Mom would look really pretty on our porch. Yes. You can have them hanging from a hook outside. And that one's... Oh, yeah. $29.99. So awesome, baby. So I'm fairly certain they featured this in an, another merchandise um, walkthrough, but they have redone the Mini Sweets packaging. It used to be Minnie's Bake Shop, and it featured Minnie with a little chef hat, and she was like mixing or making cookie dough, um, you know, using a little wooden spoon in a bowl. But now it's Minnie Sweets, and it has her in this almost bashful, playful pose, covering her eyes with her bow. Um, and they're featuring new food as well. So they've got peanut brittle, they have snickerdoodle cookies. Um, these range anywhere from $5.99 to $13.99 depending on the size. And then on this side they have dark chocolate almonds. These are really sweet. We're thinking these are maybe for Valentine's Day. They are cherry candy hearts. Which are really cute. And then they've got some of these cookies. So the, these are an ice sugar cookies, white chocolate chunk cookie, chocolate chip supreme cookie, and chocolate toffee chunk brownie. Um, so this is what the old packaging looked like. There you go. That's a visual is definitely better than my description. <laughs> um, there's also some graham cookies. Now what's really nice about these is if you purchase the dining plan and you have a lot of snap credits left over, typically, not always, but typically these will um, act as a snap credit. So if you're on your last day of your trip and you have snap credits to spare, you can come in and grab these and use them as souvenirs for people or just to take home with you and have a nice Disney suite for when you get back. These are, none of these are new. This is just the, the Goofy's candy. 
packaging as always, but I wanted to kind of show you where it was in relation to the store, the mini suites. It's on the side entrance here. If you go out this way, you're gonna go back into where Pin Traders was, but if you go out this way, you'll go towards the Festival Center. All right, so here in the tech side, we've got some new um, magic bands. So there is the Star Wars one from The Force Awakens. Looks like there's a Figment one for Epcot 35th. The Dooney and Burke one I know is fairly popular. This is the special edition Valentine's Day one for this year. Features Aladdin and Jasmine. I really like that one. I have a Lady and the Tramp one from the previous year. And then they also have a pretty good selection of these Magic Keepers. Mom has one, the original black, but I think I might get the pink or the purple just to mix it up. Although I like the Magic Bands, so. And then on this side, you can see my ears. And then here we have the Millennial Pink Magic Band. Hey, I can poke fun, but you know I'm gonna be getting myself one of these, so. These are, I believe, 27. Um, 27.99. Yes, because it's the Magic Band 2 style. The Magic Band original is 22.99. Um, so five dollar difference. Rounding out the Magic Band section, they also have some Marvel characters. They've got Spider-Man, Iron Man, and some more Star Wars. They've got Princess Leia. Darth Vader. Again, these are all the Magic Band 2, so these are 27. They've got C-3PO, Boba Fett. It's a little trickier to see the glare um, from the light, making it hard to show him. There is Black Widow, and then just solid colors. So I anticipated this was spirit jerseys for men, just based off of the styling and the color. But when I back up, they actually have them styled on what I would assume is a female mannequin. So I'm then going to say that these are unisex. But it's nice to see that. Especially these, the sizes. These look like yes. Men. These spirit jerseys are clearly very, very popular. They're coming out with several different additions. And this is almost like a faded denim, so different styles and textures. Um, the prices should, though, yeah, they're all still $59.99, so. But this doesn't feel like a girl shirt. Yeah, it must be unisex, I'm not sure. Which one? The back? Or this one, Ooh. No, it's okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like the color blocking on that. Yeah, I like white. Oh, but this is nice, too. And see, my husband loves those kind of shirts because when we go to the beach, it is essentially a rash guard. Um, he can wear that in the water, and that's his sunscreen, his protection, so he likes those. So they got a pretty good section of spirit jerseys. All right, we've got some festival... Festival. Festival. Of the Arts. <laughs> of the Arts merchandise. Turvis, $26.99. I have the Turvis from last year, so I might need to get that just to continue my collection. Um, they also have these really cool pencil bags. Um, oops. Spinning around there. $14.99. See, that's not bad. And you could put anything in that. I mean, you can throw that in your bag, your travel bag. Mm -hmm. Makeup. You can put makeup. Um, if you're a tech person, you can put charging cables, batteries. Yeah, if you're an art person, you can put paint supplies. Exactly. Try not to put my shadow in all of the video, guys. I'm sorry. It's just the lighting in here. Here's a hat. Oh my gosh, that's cute. Oh, and it says... Masterpiece. Cute. It's $26.99. So cute. And then, I love that. I love this merchandise more so than last year's. $27.99. And then that one I'm assuming is the same, just a cotton, this one. cotton tea. No. $27.99. Yeah. I think that looks similar to last year's print. No, I think last year was all figment. Was it? I'm fairly certain. I'm going to have to see if I made a video and go back and look, but... I'm fairly certain last year it was entirely figment based. 
So they have the um, lots of stuff. They have tumblers that say Festival of the Arts. There is a wine glass. Which is $14.99. And that's a nice glass. It looks heavy. Yeah. yeah they also have glass. toothpick holders. Which or, I actually think are actually toothpick holders. Um, shot glasses. $9.99. I love the mug. You know, you know, I like me a good mug. Fifteen ninety nine. See, that's typical for them. I don't think that's bad for a souvenir. And this is really cool. It's a canvas print. It's like a little block. Twenty four ninety nine. And then they also have. I'm assuming those are note cards. It looks like it. Yeah. Yeah, and they come with these different um, designs. For sixteen ninety nine, and then there's a print that's fifty dollars. There, very cool. You can have that framed. So, if you don't want to check out the festival booths, they do have some festival merchandise and mouse gear as well. I've seen some Black Panther merchandise. This is one movie my husband is really excited about. I'm like, hmm, nineteen ninety nine. <laughs> They also have um, a little boy's shirt that is $19.99 as well. It's like the $19.99 store. Oh, these are really cool though, actually, if you are a collector. They've got some cool action figures. $29.99. They also have the Black Panther gloves with sound. Those are like, these remind me of the Hulk. Oh my gosh, they're actually making noises. Um, this does not have a price that I can find. So they're free. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, there you go, $29.99. Very cool. So this one is for still kids, I think. Yeah, that's ladies. Okay, so this is a female shirt. $32.99. Cool print. Oh my gosh, the lighting in here. There we go. This hat, I think Abel would love. Oh my gosh, yeah. It is cool looking. It's like, it almost like looks like a jersey. It's uh, $24.99. Okay. And then this is a men's shirt, I would assume, if the one in front was a lady's shirt. This one's $34.99. Very cool. 